Greetings and welcome back to EdTech Moment. Today is our first in a series looking at the Apple TV in the classroom. And today we're going to look at a tool that you can use to share your laptop screen, whether it's a Mac or a Windows PC, on your Apple TV over the wireless internet. Today we're looking at an app called AirParrot. If you have an Apple TV in your classroom, you know it's great for sharing images from your iPod, iPad, or iPhone. And if you have the newest version of the Mac OS, the Mountain Lion version, then you know that you can share your desktop image on your Apple TV over the wireless internet. But what if you don't have the newest version, or what if you're on a Windows PC? Today we're going to look at a program called AirParrot. AirParrot is a program you put on your laptop. Again, could be a Mac or a Windows PC. It's available for only $9.99 from AirSquirrels.com. Here we are on the AirSquirrels website, and we can see some of the main features of AirParrot. We can see here in this uh, demonstration here that any app that is shared can be also be shared over the Apple TV. You can use the Apple TV to extend your desktop, or you can show just a particular app on your screen and not show the rest of your screen. This is really handy if you need to take role, if you need to do something in your gradebook, and you get to show your kids something else while you're doing that. Again, the coolest part of AirParrot is you're doing this wirelessly. You have your laptop hooked to the wireless internet, you have your Apple TV hooked to the wireless internet, and you don't have to worry about VGA cables and all these adapters and dongles and things like that. Another advantage of using an Apple TV in the classroom is that a flat screen TV is bright and clear even when all the lights are on, so you're not constantly shutting down the lights so that kids can see what's on the screen. Your high def TV gives you a much better image, even though it's smaller, a much clearer image and brighter image, and oftentimes is much easier to see than a projected image. Let's take a look at AirParrot in action. If I come up to my menu bar in the top of the screen, I can see the AirParrot icon here. If I tap on the AirParrot icon up in the menu bar, it shows me the different AirPlay devices available to me on my network. Right now I have an Apple TV in the room and a, another laptop that I could share to. I can also see that I can display my entire image, so my display number one. If I had a secondary display hooked to my laptop, I could display that image as well. I can also extend my desktop so that what I see on the Apple TV is something different, so an extension of the desktop maybe off to the side, uh, or I can share just a specific app. So here I am in the Chrome browser, and if I wanted to show just that Chrome browser, I could show just that window, I could show all the Chrome windows, and like I said before, this is great because now I can show one thing on the screen for the kids and do something else on my screen. Maybe I need to take roll or check my gradebook or something like that, and th the kids don't need to see that information. So let me show you an example of this. I've got my Chrome browser here, and I'm going to go ahead and open up a video that I want to show the kids. Here I've got a video on adding groups in Edmodo, so I'll go ahead and open that up. And you can see right now, on my TV, I'm sharing my full display. So on the TV, you're seeing exactly the same thing as you're seeing on uh, my screen here. Okay, but since I've had that video opened up, now I can go to specific app, I can go to QuickTime Player, and now all I see on the Apple TV is this video. Even if I take it and move it out of the way, okay, and move this uh, website back up, the AirParrot website back up, you'll see that on the Apple TV, it's still showing the video about Edmodo. And I can play that video. Let me turn that on here. So now I can play that video. It's going to continue to play on the Apple TV, even though I kind of shove it off to the side. And now I can, again, take role, check email, update my grade book, uh, prepare whatever is the next component in the lesson, get it staged up, ready to go, while I'm showing something else on the screen. So this is, makes me very uh, effective and efficient in the way I'm running my class, because I'm able to show them what they need to show and then prepare the next thing so I'm able to move right on to the next thing right away. Some other settings that we have in AirParrot, if I go back into the menu, I can also stream audio over to the TV. So if I don't want the audio from the videos playing from my laptop, I can have the audio stream over to the TV as well. And then in the preferences, one of the preferences I like to um, 
change is I've changed some of the frame rates so that I have smoother flowing audio and video. If you have maybe a slower network, you can kind of pare down the quality a little bit so it plays a little smoother. But I also like to click this option that says stretch apps to fill the Apple TV screen. Um, one of the things you notice when you hook your computer to the Apple TV the first time is it doesn't fill the screen properly because of the different aspect ratios between your computer and between the 1080p Apple TV. Um, and so what this does when I go uh, and tell Apple TV just to show a particular app, then it's going to fit that app and stretch it out to fit the screen and it looks really nice on the flat screen. So. Again, if you're using a Windows laptop or a Mac laptop without the newest operating system, even if you are on the newest operating system, I think that AirParrot gives you more options and gives you more control over what you're showing. It can be a great tool for displaying your laptop content on your Apple TV wirelessly over the wireless internet. Do you have an Apple TV in your classroom? What are some of your favorite tricks and tips that you do with your Apple TV? Go ahead and share with us. Send in an audio comment or a video comment using Jing or QuickTime. And we'll play it on the show and we'll talk about it. Apple TV, iPod, iPad, all of these mobile devices are really changing the way some classes are structured and the way some teachers are teaching. So we're going to be talking about that on and off this year. So go ahead and share your ideas or share your questions with us and we'll get back to you. Thanks for joining us today on EdTech Moment. Thanks for subscribing on YouTube or on our iTunes feed. And most of all, thanks for taking a moment.